All right, I want to show you how to build a basic table in Excel. We'll do it kind of manually at first, and then I'll show you how to do it even faster if you want to automate uh, this. Uh, but I'll show you kind of a couple of different ways to do it. So if you just have some simple data like this, and then we'll do it with more complex data here in a second. Um, and you just want to see how many of each uh, thing there is. You can build a simple what, what I call accounts table uh, or what we can turn into something like a histogram. So uh, all I really need is to uh, copy my data and uh, make a replication of it. Uh, and then I go to data and I'm going to hit remove duplicates. OK. And it'll tell me I only have, in this case, in my data, just four different majors. And I want to see how many people fall into these four different categories. So I'm going to count here some number of students that have that major, and then I'll convert those into percent of students uh, as well. So I'll show you how to do uh, both columns here, and then we'll total everything up um, and all that. So uh, if you don't want to automate it, what you will have to do is highlight all of the data, uh, and then come down here and sort like this. And then you'll have to count them manually. Uh, so to count manually, you just click in the middle here and drag down. You can highlight all of them. It'll give you a count down here of 17. And then you just got to plug that in here. Okay. Education is uh, 17 as well. History is 7. And then sciences is 24. 17, 24. Did I say 7? I think I said seven. Um, then when you get to something like totals, I mean, it, you can just do equal sum uh, and then grab the data or shift up or anything like that. I also, when you get to here, this is probably one of my, you know, one of the shortcuts that you want to get used to. You can also just hit Alt equals, and Excel will um, uh, try and auto sum a column for you, and typically that'll work just fine. So Alt equals or equal sum and grab B5 colon E8. Uh, either with your mouse or by typing it in or with the uh, keyboard. And that'll give us 65. So we can check real quick if we counted the right number of things. Uh, there were 66 rows, and the first one doesn't have one in it, so 65 is correct. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to convert all of these to percent. So I'm going to highlight E5. I'm going to divide that by the total, which is right here, E9. I'm going to lock E9 by hitting F4 um, like that. And then I will drag this down. Uh, only drag it down to here. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is then take the total and drag it over, and it should sum to 100%. So that'll be a nice check. So we always put sums in our totals. Um, and then I can convert that to something a little prettier. Uh, we can put borders around it. Um, but that's a basic counts table. Uh, and then you can turn that easily into a histogram like we'll do in class soon. Okay. Now, if you have a lot of stuff, manually counting like that can take a while. So if you want to speed that up and you have categorical variables, uh, again, we'll talk about how to handle numerics differently in another video. Uh, if you have a lot of stuff, so this is some data from the EPA I just pulled um, a couple years ago, actually. Uh, but there's about 4,000 lines of data now, and counting them by hand would take a long time. Uh, so a lot of times what I do is I'll take... Uh, the variable I want, so if I just go up to B here, see a little arrow switches to a down arrow, I click that, it'll highlight all of B. I'm going to copy it, Control C. I'm going to go over here and paste it, Control V. Uh, and then I'm going to do start off just like we did the last one. So I'm going to copy, uh, Control Shift down, copy it, uh, Control C, paste it, remove duplicates, data, remove duplicates, OK. So you got a lot of different things to count. So this table is actually going to be fairly large and not a great table per se. Uh, if you want to put it as kind of something for people to look at, but that's okay. And I probably should just brought this over to you, right? Okay. Uh, and then I'll put number of uh, vehicles and percent of vehicles. Now, if we, we don't want to go count all those by hand. It would take a long time. So instead, I'm going to use... Uh, a little bit bigger, maybe not name, just make it uh, that. All right, uh, then we can use something like this. So this is count if. Okay, so I can use uh, count if. Um, 
and I can just highlight, ask for the range first. I highlight all of my data. So I'm going to go to A2. I'm going to hit Control Shift down. I'm going to hit F4. Okay, and you'll see it'll put the locks in here. So I'm going to lock that range. I'm going to count over and over and over again in that total range of 4,000 whatever lines. And then I'm going to hit comma, and I'm just going to hit left, and it'll count how many times whatever's in D4, in this case Aston Martin, shows up in this range. And then when I drag it down, D4 will become D5, D6, D7. It'll count all the other things. Okay, So I should just be able to double-click that down, um, and it'll count how many of each of these are in each one. So if you look here, it says A2, A4, 4212. How many times does Chrysler Group LLC show up? Because that's what's in D9, D10, it's Ferrari, etc. Okay, And then it's just like the other table. Right, so if I hit total, I hit all equals, it'll add all those up. It says 4211, which again, we just said it goes down to 4212, and then we're not counting the first one, so that's correct. We can convert all of these to percents by taking that divided by the total. And then we just double click that down. Okay. Drag that over, it should sum to one. There we go. Change those to percents. And now it's just borders and simple stuff like that. Okay, so we have a table. Now this, again, in general, I don't want a table this large most of the time, um, but, you know, or we could cut this into multiple tables. So we could do like um, high-end cars separately and take like Aston Martin, Bugatti, Ferrari out and make a table uh, and have more general stuff like GM, Honda, Ford um, in their own table and things like that. So we could compare. But anyway, that's how we build a basic table. Uh, and I'll post the data here down below.